Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle Boxing. What's going on, everybody? Want to um, thank Al Heyman, Luis de Cubas, my manager. Want to thank uh, Steven Espinosa and Showtime. Uh, thank everybody for coming out today. And um, we got a big fight on our hands. But that's good. That's what boxing needs is big fights. And um, I want to be someone to, to help deliver that to the boxing world. I'm sure he does too. Um, you know, coming off of an 11-month layoff after the Canelo fight, I could have chose somebody to uh, get in the ring with that no one knew, some nobody, just some sparring session of a match. Um, but, you know, I told my team I want to make the biggest fight possible. And that may not be the biggest fight out there, but give me the biggest fight possible. They came back to me with two-time former world champ, Anthony Durrell. And um, he was ranked high enough in the WBC to make that a 12-round uh, WBC title eliminator. And you being the interim champ and that being a title eliminator means I fight him. That means we get it on next, right? You were pressured. You didn't want to fight. That's why you got all those fucking demands. Huh? You got fucking pressure. Who, you didn't want to fight. What did you ask for? 22-foot uh, uh, boxing ring? Rival gloves? No, Blue corner? You want to come I, as a I champion? Who's the champion? Gloves. David, I, I, the I Mexican monster is the champion. You want to come out as a champion. Yeah. David said, let me talk. So oh, being a 12-round, you know, a title eliminator, that means I know I'm next in line to fight for the interim champ, which is David. And so going into the Durrell fight, I knew what was happening next. I knew the plan. And so, you know, the narrative of me being pressured or bullied or cornered into, um, you know, having to fight him, it's not the case. I knew going in, hey, 12-round title eliminator, that means interim belt next. And, um, you know, the winner of this fight comes Canelo's mandatory for the WBC world title. Uh, so I'm exactly where I want to be. I'm in the fight that I want. You know, in 2017, when David beat Ronald Gavril, I was waiting, you know, right at the bottom of the stairs saying, hey, let, let's make it happen. Let, let's do it. In 2019, I won a world title. 2020, me and my team, we reached out to Samson to say, hey, would you guys like to make something happen? He said, no, it's not time yet. You know, we need to let that fight marinate. We need to let it, you know, stay on the show for a minute, build it up, whatever. I don't know. I don't know his intentions. So um, I go off on my mandatories. In the meantime, he loses his belt for a second time. And then all of a sudden, they're like, hey, let's fight, let's fight, let's fight. Well, I got the Canelo fight on the line now. So why would I toss that away to fight you? I don't know if you're going to show up on weight. I don't know if you're going to, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. So why would I throw that, that, that chance away to fight for Undisputed, to fight a future Hall of Famer, to fight someone, you know, one of the biggest fights in boxing. That's why we're in this, right? To have the biggest fights. So that's the fight I took, the Canelo fight. And um, March 25th, you ain't got to worry about me pulling out. Show up, show you, up, show I'm up. I'm going to show up. Take care of those fragile hands. Yeah. Okay, show up. Because remember, this ain't my first big fight. I want to see you. This ain't my first show one. I've, I've been here before. Show up. And show I've done up. it. Show up. And when I show up, I show up on weight. And I don't test positive for cocaine neither. So Just don't worry about me showing up. You've been knocked the fuck out already. But Canelo puts you to sleep. That's exactly what I'm going to do to you too. Hey. You at, like the, you're fucking, at the highest level. At the highest fighters, level, you still fighters. hit like a bitch. You got 13 fucking knockouts. So what? Fucking fight. You hit like a little bitch. Ask Anthony yeah, Durrell. What I do to Anthony Durrell? You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing. You're scared. You're scared. Look at you. There's a lot of tough guy, rah rah stuff. You know, yeah, he's fucking guys. He fucking looks like he's about to cry. Look at his fucking eyes. I see. I know a pussy when I see one. Yeah. Even his dad, you know, senior, he he calls all types of fighters bitches and pussies. And I respect you everybody. Know, you a bitch. You, you I respect may, everybody. You may um, you know, you may hear a banner between fighters. You may even hear a fighter say something like, "I've never lost to a white boy, and I'm not about to start now." Who the fuck said With, that? When did I? Did Anthony I? Anthony Durrell. Am I Anthony Durrell? I'm not talking Am about you. Am I Anthony Durrell? So don't fucking don't bring that up. Like if I'm the one saying that shit too. I didn't say you said that. Finish what the fuck you gotta say. Let me, let me get, whoa, whoa, whoa. What you wanna do? Yeah, we could've got outside the fucking hotel. You're a fucking pussy, you had all these fucking people with you. This dude ain't scared. You ain't scared, that's what I'm saying. All right. He's so mad. He's so mad, I'm about to beat the fuck out of you. He's so mad, you're not gonna do nothing. I'm about to beat the fuck out of this pussy right here. So anyways, yeah, you know, you, you, no you hear Jose Cena, you know, he calls fighters bitches and pussies, and you may hear that between fighters, but you don't normally hear boxing coaches talking like that. And the reason you don't really hear that is because a lot of boxing 
trainers, you know, they've been in, they've been in the ring. You gotta go run, brother. They've been in the ring, they fought before. Exercise, so you but run. you've never fought. Close the fucking track. You've never made that walk. You never had to lace up a pair of gloves and feed you're your family. Bitch. You don't know what it's you're like. Bitch. So Sit it's down. easy for you to toss those words around because you've never had to do it. You're a bitch. You never had to do you're it. Scared. Look at you. You want to cry? I don't want to cry. So anyways, March 25th, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be in shape. I'm gonna be on weight. I ain't gonna be on cocaine. And I'm gonna whoop his ass. Yeah, show up. Thank you, Kayla. Should've bought fucking bro your glasses so we can slap in the face. All right, now, coming to the podium. It's fine. They're fine. Coming to the podium. Unbeaten. He's 26 and 0. 23 knockouts. He is the former two time WBC super middleweight champion of the world. He has been nicknamed the Mexican Monster. He is David Benavides. First of all, I want to thank God. Because without him, none of this is possible. Secondly, I want to thank Al Heyman, Samson Lukowicz, Lisa Kubas, my father Jose Benavides, and David Garcia. This has been a fight in the making for the past five years, and I couldn't, couldn't have come at a better time. I'm at my best right now, mentally and physically. There's been a lot of shit talking going back and forth, but on March 25th, I get to put hands on Caleb Plant. And trust me when I say, I'm gonna beat the fucking living shit out of you, pussy. I'm gonna beat the living shit out of you. Oh yeah, and then when you're in the fucking ground bleeding from your fucking mouth, you're gonna realize how to respect the real fucking muscle. That's real. What? 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 I'm scared because I'm fucking. David, leave him alone. He's about man. to cry. This dude, man, he has 13 knockouts. He thinks just because he knocked fucking Anthony Durrell out, that's supposed to be something to me. I beat the shit out of Anthony Durrell when I was 23 years old. I was champion before you. I got three fucking belts right now. Man, you, you, I'm what you want to fucking be. You a all fuck. You a fucking chump. You ain't nothing. And watch, March 25th, mark my words, I'm going to put this motherfucker in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, let's get in. Let's just talk about the fight here. 